I am going to talk about vector addition by using components method. To use component method, we need to use Cartesian coordinate system. Okay, so this is our vector u equal 8 meter 40 degree north or east. So I bring my Cartesian xy system. So this is x coordinate. This is y coordinate so i need to find projection of my vector on x axis so i go vertical like this so this is 90 degree this vector will be ux so basically if there is a light parallel light here so shadow of this vector on the x-axis or another word projection of u onto x for to find uy this time light comes parallel like this way so I go parallel to x-axis so this is uy so projection of y-axis so this is y component okay so for this is 40 degree, this is 50 degree, 90 minus 40. So when we use trigonometry, cosine 40 degree equal adjacent over hypotenuse u x over u. From here we get u x equal u times cosine 40. So u is u is eight times cosine forty. So we get this uh, six point one meter. Or we can use eight times sine fifty. We get six point one meter. But I prefer this is more systematic. I like this this thing. so again with this triangle again this is u y so when we look this triangle sine 40 equal opposite over hypotenuse opposite u y over hypotenuse u from here u y equal u times sine 40 so basically this is 8 times sine 40. So we get this 5.1 meter. Or again we can use cosine 50. We get same. Again I like this method. So to be more systematic, it is better. Let's say if there is any vector. So we bring the tail here. Let's say this is the vector. So this is 50 degree. We better, if this is systematic, start from here like trigonometric positive x axis. So we calculate this angle. This is 360 minus 50, 310 degree. So we use this angle. So for x component, we use cosine 310 times magnitude for y component cos sine uh, sine 310 times magnitude of the vector.